That's a great idea. You're fixing all my problems, Taryn. <laughs> yummy, 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 yummy. Hey guys, what's up to a very improved episode of Christie's Kitchen Throwback. I am here with Taryn Smith. We are so excited to be here. Well, are you? Oh, of course. Okay. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I like, answered for you. So you, you have a passion for nutrition and vegan food and all that stuff. So we have sort of a vegan theme. So today we're doing the Shishka Billy Bobs from Home Improvement. Improving our food in the home, the home improvement of food mm -hmm. and a vegan take on those. Oh, also I should warn you, we have a format now where we do the uh, Throwback Throwdown Challenge. Three rounds of trivia, all about your past career. If you answer all three questions right, Brendan will have to eat a super gross food. If not, we'll be eating it. It's the Throwback Throwdown Challenge. And today's nasty edible food punishment is vegan mayonnaise. But if you were to literally just scoop it up and eat it, an entire thing of it, it's just kind of nasty. Yeah. It's a punishment. Okay guys, so we have everything we need to make the most tastiest, delectable, veggie, vegan shish kebabs. I have my first throwback throwdown challenge question. You ready for this? Mm -hmm. What was the full name of your character on Home Improvement? Oh, I don't remember the middle name. It's Marcus Taylor. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I don't that's know if more I had. 50%. I don't think they actually gave me a middle name. They really? They never said it in the show. They never said it in the show. As far as I know. Good job. <laughs> we did it. We have to cut our fresh veggies. Were you always vegan? No, I went. Oh, I went vegan at 16. I was vegetarian for a little while uh, as a young kid until okay. my parents figured it out and. Uh, got worried. They're like, why is he always ordering salads when we go out? <laughs> um, then when I was 16, I met a woman who was a vegan chef and nutritionist. She made it very easy for me to make the transition. So 20 years now. Wow. Audience question. How do you feel about doing a reboot? Was that something that you'd be interested in? Uh, I would definitely be interested in doing like a reunion show. Like a, reunion. Maybe like a one hour special or something like that. Cool. I, I don't okay. think a full reboot like, like Fuller House or something like that is actually in the works. Do you remember your audition for Home Improvement? Yeah, it was a uh, it was actually seven auditions, you know, with the screen Whoa. test. Oh my and goodness! Screen tests back in the day were like intimidating. The screen test was my seventh birthday. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, and the la end of the show was my fifteenth birthday, so the oh. actual last day. And so you remember the screen test? Like, what was that like for you? They had already decided upon Jonathan, the middle kid. So oh, they were kind okay. of mixing and matching, go in multiple times. It's funny. Normally, my mom would take me to auditions, but my dad was doing it at that time, and he said that at one point he saw the three of us that ended up getting cast together, yeah. Yeah. and he said. You got chills, like something just... Something about it. Yeah. So look at this gorgeous dish we have. <laughs> oh my gosh, this guy is amazing. Look at him cutting that garlic. <laughs> and we're gonna press it really quickly too. So tell me, what have you been up to since since Home Improvement? Because I know, like I said, everyone goes into their different directions and you're doing amazing. I think we need to tell everybody how awesome you are. Sure, thank you. You um, play it down, but <laughs> you're always the sweet brother. Oh. Uh, so with the gothic phase, they put yeah, you Yeah, that's in the, true, in the, yeah. Uh, you, you were not gothic? Me, no, no. <laughs> the um, head writer producer, his son was gothic in real life. Oh. We had this moment where I, I went backstage and opened up the door and came face to face with him. And I was in wardrobe uh -huh. uh, as a goth and he uh -huh. was in his normal clothes as a goth. And uh -huh. we had this kind of awkward moment of like, hi, hi. I'm your oh. dad's way of dealing with this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, what is the strangest food that you've ever had? I ate a scorpion. <laughs> you haven't seen that episode. I ate a scorpion. Um, I've had like snail and frog and raccoon. Like raw, what? <laughs> yeah. You've eaten raccoon? Wait, so you're, you're not vegan? Uh, one bite. It Who was, gave, gave you raccoon? <laughs> it was in Texas. And, okay. Uh, it was uh, a couple years ago, and uh -huh. I was down in Texas to do disaster relief with oh. an organization called Burners Without Borders. Oh, and wow. it was after the, uh, Hurricane Harvey had hit. Mm -hmm. So I went down there and was helping out for a, a few months. You know, all the volunteers had set up, and we had a kitchen and everything, and all of a sudden, a whole family of raccoons came in and oh. started raiding our kitchen. And oh. So and the locals in, started to deal with it. And so I had this connection when I saw the raccoon die when later they made it into a stew out of, to honor it, I took a bite. Okay, he's gonna chop that onion up because we realized we need an onion and I'm gonna go ahead and make a garlic, lemony, olive oil marinade. So tell me, other things. Oh man, um, this is a hard <laughs> question that the audience just gave us. Yeah. And that is, who's your favorite brother on Home Improvement? Well, I, I have to say, Zach and I definitely hung out more um, mm -hmm. uh, over the years. Yep. Um, just maybe had a little bit more in common. I'm not sure how it worked, but uh, and, you know, and then Jonathan actually left the show at the last, uh, 
<laughs> the last season. I'm so, so. sorry. Those are really. <laughs> I have a thing with onions and them making me cry, and they're making me cry. Oh, sorry. I can't tell if it's the lemon <laughs> or the onion, but now I'm Lucille Ball all of a sudden. <laughs> have you tried uh, like swim goggles? Oh my god, that's a great idea. <laughs> that's a great idea. You're fixing all my problems, Taryn. <laughs> I've I've lived on boats a lot part of my life. The first really? four years and another four years recently. And oh wow, I love sailboats, man. Let's go sailing, man. <laughs> so now you're working with a, a submarine. Yeah. So and you're engineering <laughs> with them, or what's happening? Yeah, I'm I'm a chief of operations and one of you the co-founders. You are so chill. <laughs> so with with a partner named Shani, we started a, a group called the Community Submersibles Project, okay. and uh, we ended up acquiring two small submarines. Um, first one was home built. The second one was actually made for the Swedish Navy. Wow. Um, we're using them to start the first submarine pilot school because right now that does not exist. Okay. Don't, to learn how to fly a submarine, you either have to be in the Navy or you have to be extremely rich and just fly a submarine. That's what they call it. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, fly a submarine. Okay. Yeah. Cool. It works actually more more like a blimp than an aircraft. Actually. That kind of. That's interesting. Yeah. yeah, I actually flew a blimp at one point when, as Except, a kid. Oh my god, <laughs> yeah. Jesus, he's done so many things. Okay, so before we season our veggies, we are going to do a number two question for Christie's throwback throwdown challenge, okay? What song was featured in the Tool Time music video that your character filmed? Can we... That was a very specific thing. So there was music video that your character filmed, mm -hmm. yeah? Yeah, I'm sorry. I think we're gonna have to eat the mayonnaise. Oh, no. <laughs> it's really been a long time. It's okay. I totally, totally get it. You have lived many lifetimes since Home Improvement. I haven't really gone back and watched any. That's of them the thing, time. right? Yeah. It's so funny when you start to watch your stuff. It's a trip. The answer, guys, was Grease Lightning, <laughs> and that. Do you cut? Does that? Do you now remember hearing that at all? Huh, no? Really? Well, then good. You don't feel bad. We will have a chance at redemption soon, so okay. stand by. So we have the oil. We're going to go ahead and put a half a cup of oil together. And we're going to mix it. This, some basil, a bit of oregano. Are we good? All right, guys. So now we are going to go ahead and mix this in. Let's do this, and then we'll get it on the grill. It's right. a lot of veggies, but they are pretty. <laughs> we like to have fun here. Okay, so let's do this. All right. I was part of a team that won an X Prize, which is an ongoing organization that, that sets up really high engineering benchmarks for, for things that will help the world and gives out prizes anywhere from like one to 10 million for the first company or organization to do it. And what ours was was called the Water Abundance Prize. Yeah. And it was a million and a half dollars for the first team to be able to pull 2,000 liters of water out of the air. Out of and the air? Out of the air. And um, use 100% renewable energy and cost no more than two cents a liter for, uh, over the course of its use. All Power Labs, they recruited me to help in their XPRIZE bid and we won. They were the only team to be able to do it. That's and, um, awesome. So now that, that's been developed. This guy right here needs to run for president as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> so let's get these on the grill because they look gorgeous. They look gorgeous. Yeah, it's so colorful. We did a good job. <laughs> nice. Oily high five. Oily high five. <laughs> A little oil. All right, here we go. So we've got some of that reserve oil and lemon, like I guess you call it a vinaigrette now. We're gonna go ahead and pour it on where we see a little extra juice. And then Karen, are you acting now still? No. Because you, you're so, you have, you are so, the one side of your brain is so active. I'm thinking like, where do you, how do you feel like artistically you're able to? Well, reinvest your energies. Well, actually, I do make art. Uh, oh, I've, wow. I've been um, touring festivals for the last... I mean, of course he <laughs> has been touring in yeah. festivals because he's like, you are a renaissance man. Uh, so, yeah, I make installation art. The last bid project I did was a floating art gallery, actually. What? Yeah. So cool. Yeah. Do you cook on the boat? Yeah, I love what? to cook. Yeah. yeah. I can, well, I've, I've actually put that on a, a sailing resume. I can cook in a storm. <laughs> really? Perfecto. Do you know languages? I just, I'm throwing things out because I'm, you're the smartest man in the world. No, Do you I, know I Ben Nye, the science guy? I was on his oh, show. No, that's not even Ben Bill, Nye. Bill Nye. Ben Nye. 
is a makeup artist. So <laughs> I am coming off like a bimbo on this episode of Christie's Kitchen Throwback. Um, I did an episode of Bill Nye, actually. You did? Yeah. He about did an episode of Bill Nye. <laughs> I love him. Yeah. All right, we're going to try these. But before that, let's get the other smartest guy that I know in here in the kitchen. Please welcome Brendan Rooney. <laughs> I've got a lot to live up to. I'm not engineering anything. Yeah, but you I, could. I would like to reverse engineer and like maybe like stop aging. <laughs> <laughs> These look fantastic. They. That does they not do look so fantastic. Vegan mayonnaise. You're gonna do a whole scoop too. Right. So, what year? did the first episode of Home Improvement air. 1991. Oh my God. Yes! <laughs> All right, redemption, we are okay, redeemed. Okay, no, you've oh, got one more. more. Yeah. You got one Can more. Can you give him a math problem? Yeah. Because he's gonna <laughs> solve it. So, redemption question. What Don't let me down. was your first line? My first line? On Home Improvement. He was Not seven years old, people. <laughs> Let's go into the depths. It wasn't getting naked. Oh. Wait, what was it? No, no, no. That was an honest guess. Help. <laughs> getting naked. Help. Hey, no. it's close. So have fun with this. Vegan or not, uh, any kept, eating it's a spoonful of mayonnaise me. is not going to try one. Get out of here. <laughs> All right. Mm. Do we have like some chaser or a water? At least we get a water bottle. <laughs> oh, get out of here. Goodbye. I, I don't like it when he wins. You're a sweetheart. No, please. Thank you for coming. All, oh. all the way, like nice a cat. fox. Like a fox. All right. Oh God. I have to take a whole spoonful of this in my mouth. I think I might throw up. <laughs> all right, you ready? Wait. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right, bottoms up. I just swallowed the most of it, not, not try to like swish it around. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can't do it. I can't do it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was so nasty, man. <laughs> okay, I'm fine now. <laughs> okay, well, let's eat. Oh god, that was awful. Mmm. Oh, that was that was worth it. This is fantastic. My gosh. You're yeah. really good. Whatever he did, watch, rewind this, watch it again, because he did a fantastic job of cooking these. Thanks. It's always been a, a passion of mine ever since I discovered that things could actually have good flavor and be, uh, be seasoned and nutritional and. Thank you so much. <laughs> These are really, really good. If I can make this recipe, I feel like my toddler will eat vegetables. That's how good these are. Thank you. Thank you so much. Keep saving the world. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Mwah. Yummy, yummy.